Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 161. The first official episode of the off-season of No Prep Kinks before season 5 and season 6. Season number 5 recently concluded with a winner. I don't think you can say a lot of people didn't expect to see win. But as we look into next season, there's already some rumblings. There's already some rumors of some great changes which could potentially be taking place to make just this next season even more insane than we could have ever imagined. And I was thinking for a second, how long will this off-season season actually be because we look at no prep king season five it ended right at the end of october so you have all of november december january february march and if you do recall season five began in april i think it was towards the end of april but it was still april so about five five and a half months we have to wait and trust me, there's still going to be some good stuff to talk about. There might be some slow weeks. There might be some bad weeks. There isn't too much stuff to talk about. But for the most part, I feel like No Prep News will still be going strong. And we are kicking off the offseason with the crazy episode today. And it is in regards to some rumors around changes Ryan Martin's already making to prepare himself to win season number six of No Prep Kings once again. Or win another season of No Prep King because season no, number six hasn't happened yet. So how would he win that once again? You guys get what I mean. Ryan's doing pretty much whatever it takes to ensure he wins once again. And the changes he is making are just, I mean, absolutely mind-blowing. Honestly, I could have never expected someone to do this. And the thing is, he's changing one of his cars to better suit it to race on the No Prep surface. So he has a better chance of winning overall. And maybe I've been thinking, what do you mean by that? The great car is staying the same. The great cars, as of right now, is staying with the Pro Charge Hemi setup that he just won this past season with. But the red car is apparently being swapped over to screw blown Hemi in order to have two cars to compete with throughout No Prep Kings. Now, a thing a lot of people are talking about is the screw blower stuff is the new wave for No Prep Kings. When No Prep Kings first started, we saw the twin turbo cars. You had guys like Birdman kicking ass doing really good and they were the top dogs then the twin turbo stuff kind of fizzled out and right now we're seeing the pro charged hemi stuff mainly pro charger you could say because we're talking power adders mainly the pro charger stuff right now that's the top stuff right now i mean ryan martin just won the championship with that setup and a lot of people are saying that the next stuff coming up is going to be the screw blower stuff because of how the rules are fitted. We look at Jim Howe, Justin Swanstrom, just two names right out the gate. Uh, John Odom as well with screw blow cars that did very, very well this past season. Now, the thing is, will Ryan Martin do that to the red car? Now, if he does that to the red car, I mean, is that essentially signing the death certificate for big tire stuff on Street Outlaws on the street? Because he built the gray car so he wouldn't have to race the red car on No Prep Kings. So he had the red car to just race on the street. And all signs are kind of pointing to there's going to be no big tire stuff on the street anymore. And this is kind of a wild decision. And this isn't the episode to talk about it. But I think it's crazy that Pilgrim, Discovery, Street Outlaws, they're making this decision before any of the small tire stuff has ever even aired. They have no idea the reaction from the fans, the ratings, all that stuff, but they're going all in with it blind, which I think that's kind of interesting. But if that is the case, all these guys have these big tire cars, so why won't more of them do what Ryan's apparently doing and build their big tire cars with possibly a different setup or a backup setup so they have two cars for No Prep Kings? If No Prep Kings is where they're making all the money, if No Prep Kings is where they enjoy racing the most, it's during the day, I mean, for the most part, <laughs> they get to see all the fans and stuff. I mean, they get to go to all these different tracks around the country. Like, if No Prep Kings is the spot, if you're actually like a big name in Street Outlaws, if that's like the best place to be at, why not make make it so they can compete at the top level they possibly can to give themselves the best case scenario to win. Ryan Martin is clearly doing that once again with changing the red car over to apparently screw blower while the gray car will remain pro charger. So per track altitude track surface whatever it may be overall environment how the cars are running in said day. The thing is too though once he begins racing at a track with one car he has to remain in that car throughout the remainder of the race but then the next race he can completely change cars so the thing is he would be doing this not during the event switching cars i apologize if i worded some of that stuff a little weird it would be per 
event overall. Not during the event he's switching, like say round one to round two. He can't switch during that. Once he begins round one, he has to remain in that car the entire time. But for the event the next week, it doesn't matter what car he shows up in and races in. And then the same rules apply for during the actual event. And the thing is, we're sitting here wondering like what the deal is with what these guys are doing for new setups for next season. And we don't have the rules yet. I don't know if they have the rules yet. Apparently, Ryan Martin has some pretty large input into the actual rules for No Prep Kings. So I wonder if he's kind of you know, ahead of the game and know some inside stuff. The thing is, too, I'm sure most of the drivers will get the rules beforehand. Then it'll be released out to the public as it normally has been in the past. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ryan kind of like start to do stuff to the red car, but then we don't see him actually commit to something until after the rules are given to them, at least. Because remember with the gray car, the gray car was revealed as a twin turbo car. Unfortunately, during the pandemic and stuff, we didn't get to see the car race. The car was only out and tested. And before the car even went to an actual official race, he switched it to Pro Charger and then brought it out to race in No Prep King. So Ryan Martin isn't afraid of completely changing this stuff to fit his car for the rules. We speculated this, I believe, going into Season 5 of No Prep King. Would Ryan Martin end up switching his car per the rules in order to compete at the highest level? And honestly, going into this next season, I think he's going to do just that. The gray car, I would assume, stays relatively the same simply because of how fast and consistent it is. Yes, they were having little difficulties towards the end of the season, so there might be uh, some changes warranted in certain areas there, but mainly for the red car. That's kind of the main thing I want to talk about. And the main thing that really just blew my mind the most is Ryan Martin going to be building this red car, the OG Fireball Camaro, swapping it over to Screw Blow Hemi, I would assume definitely Screw Blower Hemi is what I assume, to race in No Prep King. So he has two cars to compete at the absolute highest level. I assume no 100% changes will be made until the rules are released, but I wonder what the uh, ripple effects would be of this. Will other drivers do the same seeing that big tire stuff's pretty much obsolete on the street now and these guys have these big tire cars? Will they change them to do what Ryan Martin's doing to compete at the highest level for No Prep Kings? A lot of stuff to look out for the remainder of this offseason and a lot of stuff to look forward to for next season of No Prep Kings and that is all for this week's episode. I thank you all so very much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you do not miss a single video that I upload. All my videos upload live at 6pm Central Standard Time. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night, Monday night at 6.50pm Central Standard Time, where we'll be going live here on my channel watching a new episode of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. Make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about Ryan Martin potentially taking the red cart, building it for No Prep Kings, and other drivers doing the same as well. Let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comment section down below. I have also a PO box, so if you guys would like to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. Thank you so very much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend and are looking forward to a great week this week. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the same. XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.